Hey guys, Zach here. We're out spring bear hunting in Montana and we had to pull camp. So I want to show you guys how to set up our six man base camp style tent. It's back in the bag. So we're going to pull it out. We're going to set up camp here and we're just going to run you guys through how to set this thing up. First thing that you're going to want to do is obviously take the tent body out of the bag, get that laid out. I like to build all the poles. There's going to be six poles. They're all the same length. Those are a gray color. And then there's one blue pole that's going to go for the vestibule. And then you're going to want to lay the tent body out. If it's, if it's windy, you're going to immediately want to stake it down. If it's not windy like today, it seems to be a little bit easier to get all the poles in and clipped in without having it staked out. So I'm not going to stake it out. Ideally, you are going to configure your tent where you want it and get your vestibule pointing the direction that you want it. This is the main access into the tent. And the easiest way to know where that's at, because it can be confusing, is if you go to basically the corner stake out on each side of the vestibule, you'll see that there's three grommets instead of two. So if you get confused looking at the tent of where it's at, just look for the corner stakeouts, and if you see the three, you'll know that's where your vestibule's at. There is another door, but this is the main door. So um, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take and look at the very top center of the tent, and you can see that there's a triangle here. There's a vent in the middle of it, and there's a triangle of where three poles are gonna be crossing. And this is basically the apex of the very top of the tent. And if you don't put the poles through these clips first, it's just gonna be really tough to access them when you get this thing all erected. So we're gonna basically make sure that our poles go through the very highest up uh, clips and get those clipped in. And then we'll work around to the corners and put them in the corresponding corners and kind of get this thing initially up. One thing to note is that in every corner of this triangle, there'll be two poles crossing and you're gonna need to just get them through the exact same clip. So you can either have all the clips open and lay them out and pull them over or just push them through, but that's gonna be key. Once you got the poles configured in the top of this, you're basically gonna run around half the tent and put your tent pole into the corresponding grommet. You wanna, on the initial pole, one thing to note is you want to put it in the grommet closest to the tent. So we got the tent roughly erected. Basically, once you get the poles in and get that rough shape of the tent, you're going to go around and just follow all the poles, which we've already done a lot of and you wanna wrap these clips around and then lock them in. And it is an expedition base camp style tent. So when we get this thing fully set up, it's gonna be really tight. That just helps it buck the weather and the wind and snow load and everything. So you can set it up by yourself. It is a little bit easier with another person. Chances are if you have a six man tent, you have somewhere, someone else there to help you. So uh, it makes things a little easier, but uh, once you got those three poles in, there's going to be three more that cross. You can see where this blue taping is coming around. There's also going to be clips along it. Basically, we're going to do the same thing. If you come to kind of, there's three corners of the tent where you're going to see there's two clips here that are following this blue tracking. Basically, we're going to run the pole through these clips first and then run them down to the end. Just that way, we don't have to undo these ones and lose this structure here. I'll just start it by weaving it through there real quick and then just give it a little bit of length one way or the other so that you can get it put in on one side and then it should be pretty easy to walk around the other side and get it put in the other grommet.
you'll see where two of them are gonna cross on the face of the tent and there's gonna be five hooks here that we're gonna have to attach. Rather than starting in the middle and fighting this tent out, if you actually work the four first, it makes it a lot easier to get to this middle one. So now the middle one's almost all the way there and it just takes less fighting to get it hooked over. And then once we get all these, all these lashed up, we'll end up doing the rain fly. So once you get all the poles in, all the clips locked in, we're gonna take the rain fly out of the bag, drape it over the tent. The biggest thing is just getting it aligned right. So honestly, the stove jack is an easy way to figure out your alignment or the vestibule. Uh, just make sure that you know where the vestibule is at. Again, like we said, there'll be a third grommet on that corner lash out point. So it should help you get it aligned right. Um, and so we're just gonna take and get this thing on there right now. So once we get the rain fly roughly draped over where we want it, uh, before we go in and clip the corners in, there's gonna be clips underneath the rain fly. There should be two here on this main pole. There'll be one right here where those poles cross again on this pole and basically these little clips are going to go around your poles you can see kind of what it looks like here it's basically going to look like that and you're going to go around a pole and then we're going to slide that through that hole there and then turn it sideways it's basically going to hold your rain fly in position keep it from shifting and if you're gonna be in serious winds, this is gonna be pretty key as far as just the overall structural integrity of the tent. So it takes a little bit of extra time to go through and get all these connected, but it definitely makes it worth it when you get it all set up, especially if your tent's gonna be there for a considerable period of time. So you just will slowly work around the tent. A lot of these you can reach underneath and feel once you've done it a few times and connect them. So there's one. Should be another one down here, right here. And you'll basically just work your way around the tent. Once we have all those connected, you're gonna see down in our corners here, there's gonna be blue little tension hooks coming off the rain fly. And there's a corresponding little plastic loop down here. Once we get all of our inside little tensioners attached, go around and we'll roughly attach all these blue tensioners make sure they're loose at first and then we'll just work our way around the tent and slowly snug those up so we got the rain fly attached everywhere else this is the last corner where we, we're going to be tying it in to this corner of the main tent body and so basically what we'll do is once we get everything hooked in like that we'll just slowly kind of snug a little bit not all the way and we'll just slowly work our way around the tent and just start getting this snug good and tight. So one key part of the whole tent build process here is staking it out. We could have staked it out from the very start if it was windy, like I said. Uh, you can stake the tent out once you get the main tent body up or once you get the vestibule on, or excuse me, not the vestibule, the rain fly on and attached, you can stake it out. but. Before we put this pole in for the vestibule, uh, we need to stake the tent out just so it doesn't move around because you're gonna have to stake the vestibule out to get it to be basically set up the correct way. So we're just gonna stake this tent out and then we'll put the vestibule up. So now that we got the tent staked down in all the corners, we're gonna install this vestibule. Basically gonna to go to the front and use that last grommet that we talked about. Put this pole onto both sides. And then you'll see across the front of the tent here, we got a bunch of clips.
So once we have all those attached, we can grab one of our stakes. We'll grab this vestibule, loosen this up a little bit. Just pull it out. Once you get the vestibule up, the last step is gonna to be to go around. And if you wanna use your guy lines, you can guy your tent out. It gives it some extra strength for heavy weather and high winds. So if you guys have any questions on how to set up our six person base camp style tent, just give us a call.